Tonight, we're doing some sliders. We're gonna do them Juicy Lucy style, but we are making jalapeno popper sliders because it just sounds good. So I'm gonna make my jalapeno mix, um, you know, my stuff mix. We're gonna add some jalapenos in there. And then a uh, little cheese. Uh, we're gonna wrap them up, we're gonna go. We're gonna toss them on the smoke fire for a quick grill. And that's about it. So thinking of, uh, thinking of kind of like a sauce to make, um, kind of like a burger sauce. Um, I have a few ideas. Um, I don't know, by the end of the video, hopefully I have something, uh, some worked out because I want to balance it out. I want it to be a whole, you know, I want it to be, a, I don't want it to just be a burger with jalapeno popper filling. I want it to be a jalapeno popper experience with a burger. You know what I mean? So that's what we're doing. Check it out. So we got about three quarters of a stick. I'm only making a few of the sliders, so it, should, it shouldn't need too much. Um, so I got three quarters of a stick of uh you know room temp we got green onion you can use chive i like a little more onion bite so green onion works good we're gonna chop that up we got some jalapenos here so while we're doing this we're just gonna blister them so i'm going to fire up this burner back here just like so and we're just gonna take our jalapenos uh, man it's gonna be interesting and we're gonna just balance them on the edges like that. Just, ooh, try to anyway. And we're gonna get them blistered up. So I gotta do two at a time. I don't feel like putting anything on top of there. I'm not digging through the cupboard. So we're just gonna get those blistered just a little bit, just to break them down. They're gonna cook, you know, inside of the burger too, but I still want them to, still want them to be soft, you know, when we chew into them. So we got that there. We're gonna do, since we're using the green onion, we don't need to add any of the other onion. I'm using an aged white cheddar, so we don't need to use any, uh, oh man, my thing is, my tripod's dying, guys. I don't need to use any uh, uh, salt, pepper, you know, anything like that. I'll probably use a little black pepper, just because I like it. So, I'm gonna do about three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder, granulated garlic, sorry. And let me grab my little, little guy here. And we're just gonna do real fine chop on this. I always use the greens, I do. here that should be pretty good it's like soap perfect and oh man my jalapenos got blasted off of my flames hold on a second right. there we go just a little char in there give it some flavor you know put these guys on I'm gonna chop up these ones all right, cool. So I'm gonna do these long first. I don't want big pieces. So I'm gonna ribbon these first. And then, you need a different knife. That one's got a uh, bolster at the bottom of it and it gets in my way when I'm doing these fine cuts like that. Beautiful. See, just like so. Nice little fine chop. Do the same thing with this guy. I needed to. Okay. 
Yeah, I definitely didn't need to. That's all right, I'll do something with them. Oh, nice blister though. All right. Maybe we use them for a little topping or something like that. How's that sound? All right, so now we have some uh, fresh shredded. This is aged white cheddar and a little Gruyere because I had already shredded this up for uh, a sandwich or, I mean, a quesadilla. So I'm going heavy with it. I want that bite in there. So it's probably a good half a cup at least. And then some nice bacon. This, I want fine mince on it. I'm saving some for the top. These are the things that can poke holes in your Juicy Lucy's, man. Using uh, a uh, brisket, brisket grind too tonight. So just like that, it's about two strips, three strips. These I'm saving for our little top deal. And a taster, of course. Mm. That stuff's not my bacon. That's uh, that's right, great right bacon. Just still freaking awesome. All right, let's mix this up. I'm gonna take a uh, single nitro here. And I like to use a fork, so. Oh man, hold on a second. I'm having a hard time with my gloves with my hands. So I'm gonna do this first. all the aged white cheddar in here that stuff has a real saltiness to it so that's why I'm not putting any salt in and it smells good just like that Nice mix. Nice mix. Perfect. All right, let's get some burgers. Take a little burger. Play with it too much. Nice and thin. I always peel it off before I stuff it because otherwise it really wants to stick to the um, parchment. So we're gonna do, uh, you know, nice amount. So that stuff will melt in and it does its job, man. Don't be afraid. And then now we take it, fold it up. No need to second patties, all that other stuff that just gives you way too much meat, in my opinion. I want a stuffed burger. I don't want, you know, two giant meat patties on top of each other. And now we take it just like so and we keep it all honest. Make sure everything's tight. Just like that. Anything you see, make it happen, man. Just like that. She's stuffed and ready to go, guys. All right, I'm gonna bang the rest of these out.
So we got our little slider patties made up. We're gonna hit them with just a little bit for the crust purposes. Don't need much. If you use the aged cheddar. If you use like a sharp cheddar, something like that, then uh, feel free to even add some, uh, some salt into the uh, mixture, you know? But if you used aged cheddar, good aged cheddar, it's plenty salty. So you don't need much. But I love what black pepper does when it gets hit with heat. So. I'm not gonna take it easy on that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I want these to be as cold as possible when I put them on the grill. We know we have, you know, just a thin amount of burger wrapped all the way around it. So we want, they're gonna cook quick. So we want that inside to cook long enough, you know? So I'm just gonna put these back in the fridge and go get the fire lit. All right, guys. 600, repping. Happy to say it got there in like 15 minutes, not even, so. Uh, you know what? Here, let me bring you out over here. There we go. That'll work. Woo! Flame throwing. Beautiful. All right, so what we're doing is so we're going to take these guys. over in a couple minutes but uh i took the leftover jalapeno that we charred up on the stove and then i took the bacon that we had left over and i put them together and emulsified them with the stick blender so now i have a bacon and jalapeno like paste i'm um, kind of dust almost so then what i'm going to do is we're going to turn that into a nice little burger sauce, man. So we got a bacon and jalapeno burger sauce that we can put on it. It's gonna be good. So that way we didn't waste the jalapenos or that leftover bacon. So, all right, I'm gonna let them go. Let's keep moving on that. All right, guys. so good it's got me crying it's giving me the feels man all right i'm gonna let them go for a couple more minutes on that side and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop it down like 200 just to keep everything warm kick them over off to the side as far away from any kind of you know directness i can while it cools down and sorry my fan is on it's blowing everything right in my face but um 
and then just let them chill while we get everything else ready. Throw our buns on there, give them a little toast in, you know, so they hold up to everything. And let's go make our uh, our little topping. All right, guys, been a couple minutes here. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna bring him down. Just gonna bring it down to 225. Just let it just calm down a little bit. We're gonna take these guys and we're just gonna get them as far away as we can from the heat source in here. These things, uh, they're pretty good about spreading the heat out. All the inside that'll get everything good without drying out that meat you know just get everything perfect all right so this is what we got going on there's our jalapeno bacon paste this is what i'm thinking thinking a little fat from the mayo add a little more Uh, let's say, you know, a couple of tablespoons. Taking a little sour cream. Just to kind of, uh, you know, balance some things out. So we'll say, I don't know, a light tablespoon. And then a little bit of stone ground. A teaspoon. Plenty of saltiness from the bacon. Shouldn't need to add any salt. Might need a little sweetness. We'll see. Let's balance it out and see how rich it gets. There's a lot of richness going on in the burger, so. Check it out. Nope, it's perfect. There it is. Check this out. Oh, bacon jalapeno cream sauce, man. That's what I'm talking about. That one's going in the books, guys. All right, all right, guys. Cheese them. Slider, gotta have some good old American. Do a little cross on them like that. So, like so, like so. All right, nobody else wants cheese that I know of, so. Now, let's toss these guys on. Just to give them a little, a little warm. Let them toast on the residual that's on the grill. We ain't gotta worry about them burning. They'll still do what they gotta do. All right, guys. We are ready. Check it out. Oh, man. Look pretty. Man, I thought that lid was coming down on me. Oh, nice little toast on the buns. That is beautiful.
everybody uh, decided to chime in and decided that uh, they wanted cheese. So, all right. I'm gonna shut this guy down. Let's go build our burgers. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our little bun tops here, put some of that uh, jalapeno bacon green sauce, and some baby arugula. That's it, guys. Look at that thing. All right, well, YouTube's probably gonna boot this video for obscenity, but I'm gonna bite into it for you guys. Here we go. Oh, let's get over here. Holy shit. It's messy, but damn, that's good. Wow. Man, that was a perfect topping. That's awesome. All right, that's it. That's all I got.